Mass Effect is a game that features you as Commander Shepard to explore all across the universe. Today, we will be exploring something else in the Mass Effect line, and that is the Biotics. Now, we are not in Mass Effect, but you may be fooled, because this is what I used to call my apartment in all my past videos. This is a very popular map in my videos, by the way. This is Anderson's apartment, and it looks like they've updated it, actually. If you take a look over here, guys... I, if I remember correctly, there was not a cool 3D background in the back of these windows right here. And if I also remember correctly, this door could not open. So they've updated this map, and it is amazing. So you cannot go through any of these doors, just this one. But you can never even open this door. And you guys, you guys probably don't remember, but some of you may. When I did a video with Brandon about the crazy weapon swaps that I did, uh, I had him come through here. I did some editing that made it black out to make it look like he opened the door. Well, if this came out then, I wouldn't have even had to have blacked that out. I could have just opened the door. He could have been on the other side. It would have been amazing. And we are here. Finally. Also, one quick thing. If you go back here, they seem to have removed... And yes, I'm my tropa guy again. Uh, Red Hood didn't really cut it. They removed the movie theater and put this bedroom in. Or uh, maybe it's not this bedroom. There's a bedroom. If I could find it. I think that's it. Uh, the hot tub looks different too. Makes these bubbly sounds. Maybe that was always there. As you can see, Red Hood died. That was the old me. Sorry, Red Hood. No more, uh... Yeah. But yeah, I think there was a punching bag in here. I don't know what happened to it. I think I probably threw it somewhere. So I know I always start these videos with a big intro, so sorry about that. But guys, I want to go over something real quick. I may make a, a second channel. It's come to my conclusion, or I've come to a conclusion, that, uh, my English, <laughs> that I wanted to make another channel, and I saw someone comment something like this. They wanted me to make another channel so I could play more games on it so I don't clutter up this channel with other games and strictly stick to Gary's mod for this. So let me know what you guys think about a second channel. I'm, uh, it's also where I'll probably do vlogs or stuff or I'll make a third channel where I do that. You guys let me know. And I want to do like maybe like I don't know other games on that channel like maybe Ark like dinosaur showcases where I show off the dinosaurs or something or mod showcases on that because that game has a lot of mods on it as well. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think I should stick strictly to Gary's Mod on this channel just so people can know that when they come here They know they're gonna get Gary's Mod no matter what so anyway Let me know what you guys think down below onto the video so right up there You guys can see we have something that is different that is the toolbar for the biotics and what a pleasant surprise to play on this new map the new en enhanced map of Anderson's apartment than to do it with a Mass Effect mod. So let's get onto it, guys. So I just did it right there. Now, may I remind you, remind you guys, you will have to use your scroll bar. Or scroll bar. That's, that, that's a bar, right? No. Your scroll wheel to maneuver around the weapons, as you guys can see. And it's pretty cool. So it's actually not cool because you can't use your number keys anymore. But those are now assigned to your hot bar up there. Which is where you're going to use your Mass Effect Biotics. So first things first, I'm going to spawn someone. Alright guys, so here we have Odessa. So, the thing how this works is you press the number key, and it shoots. And it, that is push, and it throws them. Or it's throw, my bad. But it pushes them. So he's in the plant. I think he wanted to gravitate towards that. I think Odessa is a fan of plants. But uh, who wouldn't be? I mean, look at that nice plant. Those nice details. Look at that. It's amazing. Not really. So, unfortunately, they tend to T-pose when you do this. And yes, if you shoot them enough, they will die. I have the Gormar enabled, if you guys wanted to know. Uh, turns out, that whole issue I have with Bandicam was actually uh, Bandicam and not the game. But, they updated Bandicam and now I don't get that issue anymore. So, we are good to go. Up next, we have this other one. And this next one is known as Warp. Now, with Warp, what happens is you hit someone with it. It does a considerable amount of damage. And it gives them a debuff, and it works seamlessly with the throw ability. So we're going to see what happens. So we're going to shoot him with warp. Alright, see that debuff right there? See him all wiggly? Hit him with one. Bam! Look at that! That's amazing! So it really does shoot them pretty high. Honestly, he probably would have went even higher if we weren't in this house. Apartment. Just to demonstrate to you guys, this stuff will work on props. As you guys can see, the throw does definitely throw it around. And you can kind of spam this. And again, uh, I wanted to really demonstrate this as well. If you were to use toss, it instantly locks onto something within range. As you guys can see, and it works amazingly. And the cooldown isn't that long either. Warp, 
also pushes objects, but the cooldown could be a deal breaker for you if you want to push something uh, considerably further. And there's me sharply all over. We got uh, we got the next one. This one is an interesting one. Okay, this one is toss. So the first one's throw. This is toss. What does toss do? Well, okay, that's toss. So toss lightly levitates things into the air and i do not know if this does any damage to anyone whoa wait duh i could test it on myself so no it does not but you can use it on yourself boom look at that guys mlg pro so yes you can use a lot of these on yourself as you can see but that does damage you and this will certainly kill you so toss guys let's talk about toss a little bit honestly that's all it does. It just lifts certain things up. And again, you know, you could use it on props. If you want to shoot the chair in the air, you know, do some renovating. That's definitely possible. I don't know why you'd want that, but you can definitely do that. Now, this one is one of my personal favorites. This is Singularity. Sounds like it's going to be a black hole, right? Well, you are not mistaken. We have a black hole-esque ability here, guys. Look at this. This is awesome. <laughs> he's, like, orbiting it. Like, okay, now he fell. Oh, oh, he's back. Oh, he fell. So he gains some kind of momentum, and that really affects the influence of this thing on him. What about me? What about my dead body? Check that out, guys. Fling bodies left and right. Anything's possible in this mod. And uh, I think I broke my guy's back. But that's okay, because he's dead. So I have a question. Will it work with props? Yes, it will. But the cooldown is tremendous. Look at it up there. It's not even halfway. But it does work on props. Uh, the range is slightly limited, but probably good enough for your needs. I mean, like, you can get some enemies there. Get your pulse rifle out and bam, blast all of them to bits. Oh, never mind. It'll grab your pulse rifle ball. <laughs> what? Ball. Up next, we have freeze. So this, was a, this is an interesting one right here. I did it to myself. I cannot move. So freeze does a... Very slight amount of damage over time. Okay, so the debuff is not nearly as bad on yourself, though. It does slight amounts of damage over time, freezes you in place, so you cannot move or make any kind of decision whatsoever. In fact, let's retry this. That was the wrong one. So, well, we've looked at what uh, that one does, but you cannot freeze people when they're down. So, again, freezes people, it does damage over time, and you cannot move or do anything whatsoever. So as you guys saw right there, that one was slam. This is slam. What it does is it lifts you up, sort of gently, and then smacks you down. Not so gently. So let's show that off again. The cooldown is not that long. Oh! I was, I was, you know, I was really hoping that the Gorma would have activated there. That would have been amazing. But slam will obviously also work with props. As you guys can see right there. Won't really have much of an effect, but uh, it'll work. Now let's see if we get the gore effect. Oh, a little bit, a little bit, but not enough for me. All right, one more time. What? Up next, we have hack. What does hack do, you're probably saying. Well, seemingly nothing, but you'd be wrong. Hack, if I could show this off correctly. Eh, I missed. This might not have been the best NPC to show this off with. But we will try. Alright guys, I picked a much more stationary target. So, hack. Hack essentially... Let me uh, spawn a combine soldier here. Hack essentially does this. Bam! I just turned that turret against him. That is what hack does, guys. And it is amazing. So what about roller mines? Again. Oh, gonna be a hard target to hit. They're... Wait, did I hit it? Oh! No way! I don't think it worked. Ow! Okay. Wait, what the? Oh, there it is. Oh, no, I missed! Okay, so it can miss, and you can devastate yourself if you do. So I wonder if slam works. Ooh. Okay. He's got the debuff. Let me just slowly pick slam. Oh! I think it does work with the debuff. And it does get a boost. Maybe not. I know this one works. Bam! Look at that. Two-shotted. It's so cool. 
So you can really kind of mix these together, guys, and really get some cool combos going, and it will work very well. So last but not least, we have multi-jail. You guys know what multi-jail is if you played the games. It's basically the med kit, and it works, but for some reason it shoots you down to your, like your last bar of health for some reason. But it heals you all the way, so it works amazingly well. And that pretty much concludes this amazing biotics mod showcase from Mass Effect. So if you guys like this, let me know. Sorry about the two-minute intro. I just wanted to get some few things out. So if I do start that second channel and I start off with the Q&A, which by the way, again, that channel will be more of a traditional gaming channel where I just play any game, what you know, blah, 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 do Q&As on the same channel. But if you guys, again, want me to make a third channel for Q&As and stuff like that, let me know. But this channel will strictly be a Gary's Mod channel if you guys want that to be just so to be more, you know, more fine-tuned and organized. So, what you want to do, if you want to ask me a question, go to Twitter, and then I want you to uh, actually type in hashtag necro Q and A. That's Q and sign A. Correction, use and instead of the and sign, because the and sign will actually mess it up and make it to where it does not make a full hashtag. Thank you. And then, after that, put a space and then say your question. And then, I'll be able to see it. Now, again, you guys probably said, oh, he's doing it on Twitter because, uh... But, the reason why I do it on Twitter is because it's so much easier to find. If you guys do it in comments, I may not be able to find every question because I get so many comments. But on Twitter, it's the perfect place to do that stuff. But anyway, guys, that's all I want to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, speaking of Twitter, you can do that as well. You don't have to for the Q&A, you just gotta, you know, if you want to. Uh, <laughs> and... And if you want to leave a suggestion for a mod showcase down below, you can do that as well in the comments. And if you guys like this, you can subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, farewell. Okay, I was hoping to kill myself, but I don't think that works.